Hi, today we talk about the foundation feedback. Foundation feedback is very popular in the process control, especially in the OU, in the OU side. Unbelievable. Okay. Okay, first, what's a foundation feedback? Foundation feedback is a standard for digital field instrumentation. It makes field instrumentation not only communication with each other digitally, but also to exact all the continued control, all the gruesome PID ratio controller, cascade controller, Feed forward. Foundation feedbacks beyond the DCIs. There, just one thing, one thing is foundation feedback. He do everything in the, in the side transmitter on the, on the FCE, find the control anymore. He just don't like the PLC or the, the traditional DCIs make a decision in the control. Okay, first we talk about difference between PLC and DCIs. P this is PLC, this is all ring is communication. Here is PLC, he is make a decision in here, whatever, everything he make a decision in here. He's programming in here, he's doing the program. Here is all the same thing. This traditional DCS is all make decision in the controller. It's a remote controller here, make decision. It's your final. This is a primary controller, secondary control. You have two controller. For example, this one is analog DCS with heart, 4 to 20 ms signal. For example, here is the transmitter. Transmitter send the signal, go to the controller. Controller is the input, analog input module. Then he just make decision in the controller. PID control, do some PID. After that, send the signal go to the FSCE, final control elements. Then exactly the exactly the open or close with the wall. Okay, he make automation decision make here. So this one make here. Okay, this one make here, this one make here. This DCS foundation with, with this, this DCS with foundation fit bus. Here make a decision in here, all the way here. This one here, this controller didn't make a decision PID. This one here, just make here. He's all do something. Okay. It's first we talk about PLC and DCS difference. PLC is the majority for digital signal in machine plant. DCS is the majority for analog signal in process control plant. PLC algorithm is in the central controller. In the CPU, yeah. He do everything. DCS analog analogous is in the distribution controller. PLC is faster than DCS. PLC has programming in central working station. PLC all the programming in the central workstation. If you do some programming, technician engineer do programming in the workstation. Is you you can use LD net diagram program FBD function flow diagram structured text and SFC synthesis flow control. Also, DCS just has programming. It uses FBD. He just use FBD. He didn't use LD FBD 
as a program. PLC, if you use redundant, you have to buy extra hardware. That's more expensive. But in DCS, redundant is the default feature. PLC have a simple and flexible architecture. A PLC system consists of controller, I.O. mode, and engineer software. DCS systems are less flexible. They come with controller, I.O. system, database servers, engineer, and operating servers. PLC is less expensive. DCS is more expensive. Now we talk about this with foundation feedbacks and instrumentation in DCS. Foundation feedbacks we often call FF. Its abbreviation is FF. FF use makes this allows the all the control decision in the field instrumentation. In here. To make all the decisions in here. For example, the FF foundation feedbacks use function block diagram, use AI analog input block, PID block, AO block, analog output block. In here, he do in here transmitter is AI reset me here, or PID block may be here, may be here, is position, FCE, final control element, is a position, so, or here, PID here, AO is analog output, just make, just reset here, this position, if you are here is a transmitter signal go to the PID in here or here. Then PID feedback then they send the AO control. AO block then control this one. Just go this the closed loop here. Here close loop here close loop but uh, he didn't uh, go to the controller controller just uh, send uh, parameter configuration something or the uh, receive some data from here go here he just uh, didn't uh, do it make decision okay all the automatic uh, control decision made at the field instrumentation level okay F, F has two different network level. A high speed network for use as a planned wide backbone for converting large amounts of process data over long distance. HSE is called high speed called HSE. And a low speed network for the connection of field instrumentation to each other to form a network statement called HY. We just talk about HY. HY is no speed. He just the connection to the side instrumentation device. Okay, so here is H1 foundation network. He has some property. He has two wired network cable. This cable just two wires. And these two wires just twist two wire, not ungrounded. It's ungrounded two wire. It has two 100 ohm is terminator in the end. Okay? His DC power is converting over the same two wire as digital data. His digital signal just follow the power signal, power line, okay? His 
31.25 volt rate. Different voltage signals, 0.75 volt peak-to-peak -peak transmitter, at least is 0.75 is transmitter, is is peak to is maximum or minimal is 0.75. Is receive threshold minimum is 0.15 volt. Is very small. Okay. His communication use Manchester encoding. Oh, this called segment here. Yeah, yeah. This H1 always H1. Okay. Is minimum H1 segment consists of DC power supply 24 volts DC and the power conditioner and the two terminal resistor termination terminator terminator is 100 old terminator here and here okay at least here or okay, is a shared is a twist pair cable is cable is shared twist cable here is shared is grounded here and here is shared okay share uh, just one end is ground okay and at least two foundation instrumentation foundation fit bus instrumentation he just communication each other here to here okay here bus spare Topology. Topology is a two terminator. Is one here, one here. This this one is feed bus instrumentation. Is this called spare? This is called trunk cable. This is spare cable. Here is spare cable, trunk cable. Just the terminator in the beginning of this cable and the end of this cable. Never connection. Use terminator in this cable, okay? Never here, never here, okay? Just here and here, two. Okay? This is called topology chicken food. This most popular in the site. We often saw this one. This very maybe is cheap, yeah? This field transmitter, and it goes here, the terminator here, terminator here. It's trunk cable, spare cable, okay? This coupler is a device coupler. It's a junction box. It's term in here. Yeah, in here junction box. In here, okay. This spare cable is a connection to the field device. This way com connection to field device. This this terminate one hundred ohm terminator. This is the trunk cable connection to out. Okay. This very popular is the topology. Okay. Look like this one. Okay. Connection from here to here. This connection. Okay. This near the side is the junction box is a coupler. How to connect any here? Okay, foundation feed bus cable type he have four type cable type A, type B, type C, type D. Is that matter which one? I don't. You just is max length. Here is max length. Is one thousand nine hundred meter, one thousand two hundred meter. 400 meter, 200 meter. The maximum length given for each cable type is the total length of all the cable in a segment. Trunk length plus all the spare length. If this 1900 meter, just the total length, all of this one. Here is all of this one, is total. It's in all of this one, okay? Look, this one lay out, how to connection. It's a trunk cable from here, it's a coupler, 
it's from Kepo from here to coupler, coupler here is very one line connection to control controller. Okay, is is the save money. Is all the make decision in here, then send the signal go to the FCE. It's a better layout like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the first time we talk the foundation speed bus. Next time we talk about FAC and the foundation speed bus function block. Thank you very much.